Hey people, Elliot and I, who was Elliot? Me. Oh, right. We're going to be doing, what are we doing? Haggis, meats and tatties. Meats. Meats and tatties. And tatties. So, what we need to do is, we need to cut up the haggis that's on there, but because Grandad's knife's really sharp, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'll cut it up. And then we'll go from there. So I'll cut it up and we'll come back. Right, so I've cut up the haggis into smaller pieces. And what we've got to do now then, Elliot? We've got to now crumble it into this dish. Right. So are we just looking for it to look a bit like mince, are we? Yeah. Right. So. Is it very hard? No. It's easy and soft. Right. Perfect. So, once that's all crumbled up, we'll come back to you. So, that's that all crumbled. And that's just the haggis crumbled up into, so it looks a bit like mince. And now what are we going to do? We're going to pour this gravy just over there and then what you need to do is take a spoon and mix it very gently right do you want me to pour the gravy yes right right there we go so are you gonna mix it in there then are you and then once it's all mixed in we're gonna make sure it's all flat and level again aren't we yeah Make sure everything, all the gravy is mixed into the corners. Right, I think that will do. And we'll make it nice and level again. And then we're going to spread the neeps. You want me to spread that into the corners? Right, there we go. So that's that spoon finished with. You got another spoon? Yep. Yeah. So what's next? We now need to pour the leaps into the haggis. Yep, yeah. we just put spoonfuls like this. And then we can just spread it around, can't we? Yes. So we get a nice layer of meat all over the haggis and gravy. So you can carry on putting spooning that in and then we'll make it all level again. Do. and then you've just got to make that all level so it's all all the same all the way around so you need to spread it spread it around so it's all one thickness like that Right, get the spoon of rinse. Right, now we've got some lovely creamy, full of butter and full of double cream mashed potatoes. And what we're going to do with that? Put, put that on top of this. Yes. Exactly the same as what we've done with the past, uh, the the Swede or the Neeps. 
yeah and we just go and do all that and then once we've done that we'll come back to you and show you how to make a nice decoration on top of it that's all the potato on it so if you look we've got a layer of haggis a layer of what is it ne neeps. neeps and then a layer of lovely creamy buttery mashed potatoes and now what we're going to do now we're going to grab the fork yeah. and we're going to just slightly put it through there and give it nice decoration oh right oh it's looking lovely isn't it it's looking lovely and nice looks good enough to eat <laughs> it does right and that's our haggis neeps and tatties so we're going to put this in the oven for i would say 40 minutes and then we might come back to you i think we will come back and let them see what it looks like and we're going to serve it with some cabbage cabbage with some leeks stirred through them yeah. it'll be lovely so we'll come back to you later on bye that's Cheers. It, it's my lunch break, so I'm just going to finish my jigsaw. Right, oh, that looks lovely, Elliot. So how did we cook that then? So, we put it in the oven for, one, for 40 minutes, and we put it in for 180 degrees. And it was in for 40 minutes? Yes. Right, that's, well, that looks really nice. I can't wait to taste it. And we've got some gravy. Now, normally we would have gravy for Burns Night because it's Scottish, isn't it? Yeah. We would normally put some whiskey. But because you're here, you don't like whiskey, do you? No. So we're not going to bother putting whiskey in the gravy. And then we've got some cabbage, which we steamed. And then I fried off with some leeks. It would be gorgeous. So, we'll put some on a plate, and we'll see what it looks like. Right. So, we've basically scooped it out. Doesn't this look gorgeous? But now what we need to do is leave it to cool, because it will still be boiling hot. And then we can taste test it. Okay? Perfect. So. Perfect. See you later, fans. Bye. Right, so Elliot, what did you make of that haggis, neeps and tatties? Right, so originally it was quite good. And it was that good I had to have seconds, let me admit. But I ate a bit too much. But it was really good, so you need to try that. Brilliant. So you recommend it to everybody? Yes. And you should definitely try it. Great. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.